Hello guys and welcome. This series is about getting the most from your computer, primarily to get better gameplay experiences from Star Citizen, but also gaming in general. Here we're going to quickly go over overclocking the refresh rate on your monitor. This will give you smoother looking and feeling gameplay. For me, it helps me aim, or at least makes my aim feel more smooth. And it can also fix uh, screen tearing and V-Sync issues without having to resort to using V-Sync. There are two major ways to overclock your monitor. The quickest and easiest is the EVGA Precision Tool. Now, this is NVIDIA only, but it is the quickest and easiest way for NVIDIA card. Download yourself EVGA Precision. It's an overclocking and utility tool that will work with any NVIDIA manufacturer, not just EVGA. You'll have to create an account or grab it through Steam though. Once downloaded, install then run the utility. There are two arrows below the overclocking settings. Click the right one until you see settings pixel clock, then click pixel clock and use the slider here to select the refresh rate you want. Press OK to test it. If it's too high, you'll see garbling, blackness or a messed up screen. Just wait and revert or hit escape. That setting was too high. Once you have come to a refresh rate that works for you, save it. What I do is I jump up my refresh rate by uh, 5 or 10 hertz until I come to a refresh rate that doesn't work and then I fine tune um, by one hertz at a time from the last setting that worked. So you'll find your highest stable refresh rate. For my primary monitor, its native refresh rate is 144 hz So I've got this up to 187, and it looks really amazing. And for my secondary monitor, its native refresh rate is 60 hz and I've got it up to 66, which again is a noticeable improvement on my 60 hz monitor. The other way to overclock your monitor, which is working for both AMD and NVIDIA, is the CRU tool, or Custom Resolution Utility. Download the tool from the link provided in the description and run CRU. Select the monitor you wish to overclock in the top left. It will say active by connected monitors. Click add under standard resolutions. At the resolution you want, so for me it would be 1920 by 1080, but it, whatever is your standard resolution that you use for um, your desktop and computer gaming in general. Add five hertz to your native refresh rate at the bottom. You can start adding 10 hertz if you wanted to in the case of uh, monitors with higher native refresh rates. So for example, on my 144 hertz monitor, I'd be adding 10 at a time. Uh, and then you want to do a few more of them. So you want to, if you had a 60 hertz native refresh monitor, you'd want to add a 65 hertz one, a 70 hertz, a 75 hertz. Uh, do a few more of those and then click OK and then restart your PC. After the restart, right click on your desktop and then select screen resolution. Click on advanced settings and then monitor and then select refresh rate from the drop down list starting with the highest. If the image is garbled or the screen goes completely blank, hit escape or wait for it to revert. Then try a lower hertz rate. Once you have found the highest that works, go back into CRU, delete the ones that didn't work because they're useless. Um, then fine tune. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to find the highest refresh rate that you can go up to. So now you want to go to the, the, the working one, the highest working one that you have, and then go up by one hertz increments this time. So if you found that 75 hertz worked, you want to go to 76, 77, 78, and 79. Again, okay that, restart your computer, and then do exactly the same thing you did before. Right click, screen resolution, advanced settings, monitor, and then select the refresh rate again, starting with the highest that you now have uh, in your fine tuning section, and then just go down until it works. And then you would have discovered the highest refresh rate for your monitor. So a couple of other things with custom resolution utility. Uh, with some monitors and graphics cards, you will have to add detailed resolutions. I think it's when it goes over uh, 120 hertz. It doesn't really like it, so you have to add it as a detailed resolution. Exactly the same, just add under detailed resolutions. Make sure that you've got your uh, native uh, resolution selected here. Um, select whatever you need to. And then just click on refresh rate uh, and set whatever refresh rate you want there. So for me, I'd want to set 187 because that's the my top of my monitor. Um, but it's the same process just by clicking detailed resolutions. Also, if you're using an NVIDIA card with custom resolution utility, change the default extension block to custom extension block. Uh, that just works better. You have now overclocked your monitor, and even if you've just added 5 hertz to it, you should actually notice an improvement. Remember, 
if you cap your frame rates for any reason uh, to your refresh rate, then you should cap it at the new one you've just overclocked to. A couple of tips, uh, monitors that have overdrive or similar uh, physical button menu features, um, you can turn these off to increase your overclock potential. I was only able to get 160 on my 144 hertz monitor until I turned off overdrive and then it went up to um, over 185. If you have any questions or issues, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Um, any form of overclocking is, I suppose, done at your own risk, so don't um, come crying to me if your monitor explodes for any reason. I haven't had any issues and I haven't heard of any either. Let's put that out there. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope that was informative. Links to all the software I've mentioned in the description below. Um, and thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the verse.